I believe that many of us were shown these documents over the years so that later we would talk about it. I mean, how can you keep the existence of extraterrestrials, if they were real, a secret? And how could anyone keep quiet knowing that they had seen documentation, official government documents, labeled top secret, that expressed that these extraterrestrials were real and had visited this earth. I wanted to know just how true all of this was, and I began a program of research to find out if extraterrestrials were real. What I discovered was amazing. What I discovered, ladies and gentlemen, is that there has been a plan in existence to create an artificial extraterrestrial threat to this earth in order to create a one-world totalitarian socialist government. All the bombardment of the public with movies about flying saucers in the 50s right after the United Nations Treaty was signed and the UN Participation Act was pushed through Congress and all of the incidents since that have convinced the majority of the American people that flying saucers are real and extraterrestrials exist and that flying saucers are from an extraterrestrial origin. This is being promulgated in many ways by television commercials, in the movies, in the newspapers, by creating incidents either real or imagined. How can a nuts and bolts spacecraft, you know, two objects that are supposed to be made of metallic steel, fly into each other at thousands of kilometres an hour, become one object and then fly off in another direction? He says the UFOs do not seem to exist as tangible manufactured objects. They do not conform to the natural laws of our environment. They seem to be nothing more than transmogrifications tailoring themselves to our abilities to understand. The thousands of contacts with the entities indicate that they are liars and put-on artists. The UFO manifestations seem to be, by and large, merely minor variations of the old age demonological phenomenon. Again, the researchers will show you that the messages being received are deceptive in nature. They will tell you things like, well, you know, we've come from Venus or Mars in the 60s. That was the messages. Well, we now know that's impossible. Now they say they come from Sirius or Orion or Zeta Reticuli or somewhere far off where we can't test those claims. And that's the problem. And some of the stories they've told us like that we know to be demonstrably not true. And if someone comes to you, Chris, and tells you a story and does all these things and says, I'm here to help you, but then does brutal things to you and then lies to you, then I don't think trust is a, is a good place to start. There is no evidence, I wish to emphasize, that these life forms from elsewhere are hostile towards us. a plan to bring about a one world government than to create, create the possibility in the minds of the people of the world that we are being threatened from some other species from some other planet and do it in a way that if anybody questioned it or challenged it or wants to talk about it publicly that they are ridiculed.
I, my mind balked at the idea of believing that maybe all of my friends and all the blood, innocent blood spilt by all my friends, and they had died at the hands, you know, and the altar of corporate greed by a cup, you know, by a bunch of occultists.